Disability uh, Advisory Group uh, basically is formed with a number of the head coaches uh, of all the uh, various groups across, across Ulster. Uh, we meet uh, generally three or four times a year uh, and that group really is set up to uh, help other groups establish themselves and pass on sort of collective knowledge really um, and, and basically grow uh, special needs rugby within, within the province. It was our 10th uh, anniversary, so that's 10 years and come from very few players, uh, a handful of players and about two coaches and now we have in the region of over 50, 50 players. It started off that we were the only, only team in Ireland and now there's uh, at least seven, maybe eight, eight teams in, in Ulster. Uh, great now competition between them. We've noticed a great, great difference in, in some of the players. Some of the players were very quiet, very inward. Now they're forward, they're in, in the mix. They're coming forward and telling other, other players what to do. But thoroughly enjoyable. Uh, every Sunday morning gives us a reason to get up out of our beds and go and watch the kids and, and, and train with the kids. It was very good. Got a couple of good tries and uh, we, uh, our, our, our team did very well and we won plenty of games, which is good. We uh, just get on with the game. That's, I, we get along very well. <laughs> good crack. We talk quite a lot and that's the main thing. groups are forming within the clubs and that's key really uh, is to, to get them within the clubs with that club support generally it means that uh, we're going to get some longevity out of, uh, out of them. The word has got out there, uh, people are, are, are looking and, and seeing just how much fun and, and, and um, enjoyment that it brings and just what it means to, to, to people around about the place and by getting involved in such groups that uh, how, how it can make a, a huge difference to, to some of these people's lives. I think the future is definitely bright in terms of special needs rugby.